I wanted to share with you today the second of Jane Davenport's Petite Watercolor Palettes. This is the Bright Set, and you can see on the box there that there are some swatches of these wonderfully bright colors. So it comes in this really pretty turquoise tin, and just like with the neutrals, it has a little card in there, and on the other side of that card, is a spot to do some paint swatches. So you just unwrap, unwrap each little box of color. And I'm just going in with a water brush and showing you these colors. So the first one is Busy. Second one, second one is Ladybug. Then Butterfly. Now it's 70s eyeshadow. Mermaid, then Jiminy, like Jiminy Cricket, Cricket. <laughs> and next one is called Best Friend, then Fairy Tale. This one has my favorite name, it's Frida. And this one is Mystic. Next up is Royal, and the last one is called Ink. So as I was going through this color palette, I realized that um, not only did I want to swatch it out on regular watercolor paper for you guys, but also to compare to some of the mermaid markers because I thought they might be somewhat similar in color. and. They still are different enough that um, you can still get so much use out of both the Mermaid Markers and the Brights palette. That was one of the reasons I kind of thought, do I really need to get the Brights palette? Because I already have the Mermaid Markers and I knew that they were really bright. But it was totally worth it and I grabbed the last one that they had at the particular Michaels I went to and I had a 60% off coupon that was only good for today so it was kind of a no-brainer but yeah I just did some color swatching with some of the watercolor palette colors and compared them to the mermaid markers and then this is just a swatch out of all of the watercolor palette colors. Okay, so for this part I thought I would show you some of the paints in action as I'm painting some flowers here. And I sped this up so that uh, you don't have to watch every single tiny little detail, but uh, I did want to show how the Brights set is really perfect for uh, really a lot of things, but I thought I would do something nature themed so that you can really see the range of the colors and how they blend together and so as I'm going here I will um, talk to you a little bit about some of the things I found out on Jane's website about these watercolors and I became something of a watercolor geek as I was exploring uh, pigments and light fastness and things like that and if you don't know about light fastness, um, that's basically how they rate uh, different art supplies and how long they'll last. So if something is considered not light fast, it's something that will look one color when you paint it and it will fade over time. Whereas if it has a high fast light fast rating, then it will last a long time and in some cases it can last a lifetime or many lifetimes so the really cool thing that I found out about Jane's watercolors is that almost all of them have a really high light fastness rating in the brights palette the neutrals palette which I also bought has less that are actually light fast but with these colors only three are considered not light fast and so uh, I went ahead and made a little list so the ones that are considered not light fast are ladybug which is one of the red colors mermaid is not which is a blue green color 
and ink, which is a navy blue color. And the rest of them, which include Buzzy, Butterfly, 70s Eyeshadow, Jiminy, Best Friend, Fairy Tale, Frida, Mystic, and Royal are all light fast. So that's considered artist quality and for the price that you get these watercolors, especially if you use a coupon, if you're here in the States or in Canada and you have access to Michael, Michael's, um, I used a half off coupon for this set, or I believe it might have even been 60% off, and it actually was around $12 for this tin. And if you compare that with some of the higher end watercolors out there, that is a steal. And I actually heard another YouTuber talking about this. His name is The Spin Doctor here on YouTube, and he does a lot of reviews of art supplies, and he did a very in-depth review of uh, her watercolors as well as some of the Prima ones that these are compared to and he talks a lot about the pigments and things like that so that's what sort of got me going on looking up different pigment pigments and learning the actual names. Now Jane gives them super cute names of her own and um, I went ahead and looked up all the actual pigments because she actually lists them on her website and found out they are all um, actually either a single pigment, each of the paints, or they are a combination of pigments. And you might recognize some of these names as I go here. So Buzzy, which is a really bright yellow, is also called permanent yellow. Ladybug is primary red or magenta. Butterfly is phthalo blue. 70s eyeshadow is a combination of phthalo green and phthalo blue. Mermaid is phthalo green. Jiminy is a combination of permanent yellow and phthalo green. Best friend is rhodamine. rhodamine? Um, sometimes referred to as Rhodamine Lake, and it is in the red family. Fairy Tale is also the same pigment is listed, and I think in the case of Fairy Tale, they just use more of the pigment because it's basically a darker version of Best Friend. So it's a dark pink, whereas Be Best Friend is a very brilliant but lighter pink, and then Frito, Frida, <laughs> uh, not Frito-Lay, but Frida, as in Frida Kahlo, is also known as Napthal Red, and forgive my mispronunciation. Mystic is a combination of Cobalt Tin and Dioxazine Violet, so it is a warmer purple, whereas Royal is Dioxazine Violet on its own, and it is more of a bluish violet color. And ink is a combination of Prussian blue, ivory black, and burnt sienna. So I just went over all the flowers once I, they had dried overnight. I decided to use them with less water um, and just basically wet the, the paint cakes and went straight to the cake to get color from it so that you could really see how brilliant these are when you dilute them less and I was really happy with the layering effect that you could get with these I believe it's called glazing uh, when you layer one watercolor over another and I, I liked the paler version of these but I, I liked it even better when I added the deeper colors because I thought it just stands out more. Uh, you can get more variation as you can see like with this blue flower you just get more of that watery effect yet you know brighter colors so this was a super fun palette to work with and I'm definitely going to be using it uh, until it's all 
gone and um, what has been suggested by a lot of YouTubers that have reviewed these palettes is uh, you can reuse the palette and so even if you don't rebuy the, um, the palette for the paints themselves you can put whatever you like in them, liquid watercolors of your own out of tubes. So here are some close-up shots. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Alright, bye-bye.